No, no, there's conversation happening. It's been a long time, Drendon. Glad to see you back in Dalaran. It has. I'm grateful the council has accepted me back so readily. Oh, that's the new council member! Archmage Carlane says, of course, we're always in need of a mage of your talent. Archmage Drendon, I mean to put those talents to good use. You can be sure of that. Oh, that's so good. Wait a minute. So who are you when you are Archmage Drendon? So that's the replacement. That's that's Caligos' replacement? Hmm. Interesting. Go speak to Cadgar. I'm going to wander close. That was that was something I could easily have met. Oh, see, there's more stuff going on over here. What was it like, Madeira? The Radiant Song. Oh! It was warm, comforting, like... I hate when that happens. Okay, so this is between um, Archmage Madeira and uh, Azram Runeweaver, so... What was it like, Madeira, the Radiant Song? It was warm comforting, like coming home, yet I couldn't tell you exactly why that was. Archmage answer and Runeweaver says, fascinating. And you still have no idea why I chose you. None of the other council members have yet see it. Hmm. Archmage Madeira, I have no idea. Let's hope that Gina's investigation through fruitful. The sooner we understand this vision, the better. So Madeira gets it, but not the rest of the council. Interesting. Archmage Vargoth is here. Like, not an illusion version of him. I gotta take out his toy. <laughs> oh, it's right here, because I favored it. Told you. <laughs> From Outland. Does he have the same model? Yes, pretty much. He just has fancier garb now. He did come back for um for Legion though. Oh, this is the room where you have to one of the weapon uh quest chains. It's apparently it's still got a a Legion portal in it. Well, it was for something Kalgar bad. Kalgar said stuff. you would come. Oh. I thought it best to wait for you. So I want to look around. I haven't gone downstairs. I need to go downstairs. Oh, look. No, I want to look at what's still downstairs. We still have got a tear of a loon. We still got... We still got our artifacts that we shouldn't be here because we left them in the Tomb of Sargeras, but okay. Um, and then I suppose something happens here, but it hasn't happened yet. So I'm, I'm just looking at the weird things that are of two different times. <laughs> is what I'm doing. All right. It's very crowded in there. I was like, I hear one of the otters. And someone's got Otuk's best pets. Alright. I was hoping it would clear out a little bit. At least people can't have mounts, but this is this is going to be a mess. I want to go in, but I also don't want to trigger anything. If I walk in without talking to her first. But I can see that I can also talk to Jaina. Alright. 
Because I can apparently talk to, to Jaina as well. Use every weapon at your disposal. Hadgar sounded rather urgent. When he contacted me, we should head inside and hear him out. Very well, let's speak with Khadgar Ball. I'm going to do this Farewell. first. And hopefully it won't trigger anything. I will do what I can. Oh, you can just talk to her. Won't. Khadgar told me he's... Yeah, Khad... and you can talk to Khadgar as well. But first of all, Khadgar told me he sent you an Illyria to investigate the Dark Heart. Glad to know we, we have our best on the case. Well, thank you, Jane. I will never forget. Ah, good to see you. Do I get these choices after Illyria comes in? Okay, the dark card and the harbinger. I fear dark times are ahead of us. This storm never seems to end, Arlea. I see you're still the life of the party. The storm, <laughs> at the very least... I'm glad to have you by my side. Glad to have you by my side, Kagar. All right, let's. You are let's... always appreciated. Oh, well, I appreciate you too, Kagar. Even when you're asking me for ridiculous amounts of Apexus crystals and other shards. All right, let's do this. We each walk a line. Sorry, Choose no yours. country for old gods. I appreciate that guild name. No country for all. We do what we must for those we love. My people are no strangers to voices from below, but this radiant song is different. It's being heard all across Azeroth. The Council doesn't know what to make of it. There must be someone who does. I'll let you know what I find. Valeria, it's been too long, old friend. Good to see you, Khadgar. Doing well? Mm -hmm. <laughs> as well as can be expected. How's the family? I haven't... It's better if I keep my distance. Ah, of course, the void. That would be... <clears throat> Actually, your connection to the Void is why I asked you here. We still don't know what this dark heart relic is capable of, but we do know it's in the hands of someone called the Harbinger. Who they are and what they intend to do remains a mystery, which is why I need your help. <laughs> to hunt down a dangerous foe we know nothing about. Honestly, I could use the distraction. Same old Valeria. Void or no void. Uh, I didn't mean to... Uh... See you soon, Khadgar. Dark heart in hand. An ominous at all. All right, Kedgar. We will defend Azeroth together. What? What do we know? What do we know about the Dark Heart? Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect so much, but all right. The Dark Heart began as a relic hidden away in the Forbidden Reach. We believe it was similar to the Dragon Soul, perhaps a prototype rejected by Deathwing. Eridacron stole this relic and travels to the far past alongside the infinite dragonflight. It's like deja vu. To a time when the world was ruled by primal dragons and the aspects were not even yet the aspects. And I'm hearing that in Chromie's voice because she said pretty much the same thing. Right. He then ref in the dungeon. He then infused the relic with the power of Galakrond, a powerful primal dragon who clearly who nearly clearly devoured the whole no no, who nearly devoured the whole world. And so the Dark Heart was created. But Eridicron did not keep the relic for himself. Instead, he gave it to an ally, a figure we know only by the name the Harbinger. Oh, play scene from the Dawn of the Infinite. 
Can you remind me of how to Riddicron and power the dark heart? Well, we are going to click on that. <laughs> if anyone needs a refresher. Take You ever questioned why the Titans preserve this timeline? The Titans safeguard our world from monsters like you! Your faith means nothing to them. As you burn in the flames of my brother's wrath, they will not come. All they wanted was our world. With this, the Harbinger will pry it from their grasp. And when the Titans come to reclaim their prize, I will be waiting. You remember a few months ago when, several months ago when we went, that's a, that's an elf in the shadow of the portal. It's Zelatath. Um, and I thought it could be someone else, but everyone was pretty much with Zelatath. <laughs> Zelatath. We know now. Um, I'm glad so you're here. I want to hear more about the Harbinger. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is not much I can tell you about them. We know that they are allied with a Riddicron that they possess the dark heart and so we can assume they are a powerful individual with a dangerous agenda that is why i've asked you and illyria to investigate who is the harbinger and what do they mean to do with the dark heart questions i hope that we can answer before something terrible occurs so that we can stop it tell me about something else you mentioned a radiant song we heard reports from across Azeroth of individual individuals seeing a vision filled with light and benevolence. However, that's all we know. Whatever the Radiant Song means to tell us, we still do not know. Jaina has agreed to further investigate the matter. If she uncovers anything, I'll be sure to let you know. Tell me about something else. Okay, now we get to solve this. Harbinger. Always happy to help. Thank you for the flight stones, Cap. <laughs> We know a Riddicon gave the Dark Heart to the Harbinger, but what the Dark Heart is, what the Harbinger plans to do with it, those are mysteries still. And the Radiant Song, its timing is no coincidence. This matter can no longer wait. That is why I've asked you and Illyria to investigate. It's good to have you on our side. The Cadgar, I don't remember I was volunteering. to see you. <laughs> but it's okay. It is a world of wonder. That he still but actually so does Cat Cali Caligo said that. Um You've arrived just in time. Let's get to work. There remains much to be done. I'm glad you're here. Ah, good to see you. There remains much to be done. Knowledge is powder. Oh no, Wait, that's he not right. Knowledge is chowder? Flounder? Oh, for goodness sake. Line. One of these days, I'm going to obliterate that pernicious statue of me at the gates of Stormwind. I mean, come on. I don't look that old. Dalaran? Why, yes, it's currently floating over... Where did we leave that city? You know, I'm going to have to get back to you. You've arrived just in time. Okay, so he does still have those lines. But it just seemed like some of them seemed new. Um, not 100% sure on that. I'll have, yeah. His model's been spruced up, absolutely. Um... Yeah. All right, Illyria. If this investigation involves the Void, it'd be wise to consult the Void Elves. We must head to 
Tilgris Rift and report the situation. I'll speak with Umbrick. He'll be ready to mobilize the Rift Walkers to our cause. Follow it to Tilgris Rift. If you say so. I'll open a rift for us. Follow me. Sure. Just go through a void. Head for... through when you're ready. Head through when you're ready. Oh, I heard people say that this was kind of bugged out before. Yeah, no, I saw, like, people, I saw people reporting that, that, like, she wasn't conjuring the portal. So it kind of... Have the Rendori noticed any void disturbances lately? We have. The Riftwalkers just returned from their investigations. Okay, so we have going on here. Um, oh! We've got portals to other areas. Fathom's Edge. Dalaran. I'll talk to them in a second. Um, it's very voidy here. I know, I've been here. I have, I have a... I have a void. Anubilore Delana. Keep your wits about you. Time is of the essence. Farewell. The universe an is full Make of this mystery. There's a mailbox. They get mail in, in the Rift Deer. The eternal sun guides us. Yeah, no, no, I know. I just, uh... I mean, concerning? I realize, like, I, I'm i having a hard time buying into, like, it's okay. They're not bad, Void. Like, oh, Locust Walker, I hi. I represent hey girl, hey. an alternative. I represent an alternative. <laughs> Right. Look, this is probably left over from ever ago, but but I'm gonna click on this anyway because it's interesting. Uh, do you wish to learn more about the void? As many listens to teach us, among its maddening whispers, one must simply learn to properly listen. Stay a while and listen. Well, what have you? Why have you chosen to teach the Renderai about the void? Your question is not without merit. Long ago, I chose to teach Illyria about the ways of the Void. But she had proven herself worthy of such les lessons with my rescue from the Legion. Perhaps I merely wish to sate my own curiosity. And Telogus Rift and the Renderai are, are both quite the curiosities, aren't they? Tell me about something else. I have much to discuss with you both about Zalatath, about now named the Harbinger. Oh, this is current. About now named the Harbinger. And about this radiant song heard across Arasworth. Okay, so your Flesh current content. Fickle. Power endures. Stay a while and listen. I will. Let's discuss maintaining your sanity. The Void will do everything it can to shatter your will. I have a you see the Void as an enemy. I do. It sees you the same way. For now. Its very nature is hostile to order, life, sanity. You must dive deep into its shadows, accept its many truths. You cannot reject it, you must accept it. 
Only then will every ounce of power be yours to command. Embrace this wisdom, and your mind will yet be your own. It is all about perspective. And you told me this. Okay, let's go back to here. I was hoping it would ping the, uh... Okay, Magister Umber. We embrace power. We do not fear it. Oh, hey, I had to kill both of you in Horrific Visions. How cute. I just, they're, they're both in Horrific Visions of Stormwind. Um, he's the annoying one in the tower. The render eyes stand ready to protect Azeroth against the shadows. Tell me more about yourself. Once I was Magister of Kelthalas, Quelthalas, sorry. However, I and many others were exiled from our homeland when we refused to stop our study of the void. Our research eventually led us to take on the forms we have now. And so we've chosen to call ourselves Renderai. Void Elves. Make a home within Telagra's Rift. I both represent and help and guide the Renderai. Alongside Illyria. Tell me something else. There's something else for you to tell me. The light is not the only path. Hi, Illyria. What news? We'll need to hear the Riftwalker's reports before starting our own investigation. Perhaps it'll be something that tells us where to begin. The shadows can be an ally, if controlled. Come with an open mind. Ah. The render eyes are again protected. No, no, the Riftwalker reports. Maintain focus and control. The Riftwalkers are tasked with investigating the void activity that appears on Nazaroth, a most vital duty, given how dangerous this dark forest can be, and I speak from experience. Many of them were sent out on assignments to investigate the recent fluctuations. I've been told they just arrived back. We have yet to hear their reports. Would you check in on them while I speak with Illyria? Gather reports from Riftwalkers into Lagos Rift. We serve the Alliance. Cracks in the Void. Telegra's Rift has always been extremely sensitive to cosmic shifts. It makes for a rather precarious homestead, but the Void Elves have few options available to us. The recent influx in Void energies has resulted in unstable rift openings sporadically. With so many investigating Azeroth, I'm having trouble finding Riftwalkers to deal with them. Could you close any unstable void rifts you find along your path? Close five unstable void rifts in Telargus Rift. Okay. Be open to possibility. There's something else. A vision is being seen all across Azeroth. They call it the Radiant Song. Interesting. I'll report this to Locus Walker. But for now, let us speak of your investigation. Oh, right, right, right. This place is bigger than that. I, it's been a long time. The universe is full of mystery. The void doesn't just exist out there. It's here within us all. A force like any other. Like gravity or consciousness or sadness. It flows through everything. An entropic energy that we're powerless to stop. All we can do is accept it. My fate is my own. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. The past is written. The future is not. The whispers.
Take no truth for granted. The Blood Elves were fools to leave the Alliance and join the Horror. Mere puppets dancing to the tune of whatever evil wish, wish to control them. But I've cut my strings. No one will control me. Not the Magisters, not the Void, not even Illyria Windrunner herself. Mm, keep my eye on you. Every impulse must be held in check. Yeah. I'm less of a bit. I'm a little like a... Like a Baladash, Malinore. I greet you. <laughs> Hold the shadow to the... Oh, okay. Uh. Oh, okay. It's like pulling weeds in, in a super bowl. Got it. Walk your own path. I just returned from the Dragon Isles. Quest. What news do you have to report? Sure, there was a strange increase in void activity within Abaris. We are still unsure what caused the surge. All quiet now, though. I'm sorry, Le I'm sorry. Le I want to hear that again. Maladash, Maladash. You're not going to repeat that, are you? All right. So what she said, because it's important. Remember, remember the raid where nothing happened. Um. Yeah. There was, there was a strange increase in void activity within Abris. We're still unsure what caused the surge. All quiet now, though. I just hear Sarkath going, witness my ascension. There is strength in shadow. I'm afraid I'm not used to catering towards laymen. I suspect you would find it rather difficult to keep up. Why would I... Why would I look to philosophize about the nature of the void? I'm afraid that I'm not used to catering toward laymen. I suspect that. Uh, do you have to be sure? There is strength in shadow. Two, two of those down. Walk your own path. Personal reservoirs of hope and faith are strengthened. One's capacity for great good, greater good increases. Okay. All right. Let's see what you have to report. I was asked to investigate Kelimdor. Uh -huh. What news do you have to report? I investigated void incursions along the southern coast. But any sign of battle had long passed when I arrived. Seems like a dead end. That would be Odom. <laughs> Hearing loud boy noises behind me. That's in reference to Odin. New doorways have opened to us. Everyone believes Ilaria is Locus Walker's best student. She was merely his first. There are plenty who surpass her in that regard, including yours truly. So I'm detecting a sort of little power struggle in there, but they're messing with Void. They're already haughty with something telling them that they they should, you know, seize power all the time. So it's 
Is this normal or is this not normal? Is the question. Um. Fate is ours to decide. I was following up on readings from the Eastern Kingdoms. What news do you have to report? Twilight Highlands? I, I'm just... I'm just picking areas where I know there's been void activity. Twilight Highlands would be... Uh... Main. Not much to report, I'm afraid. I sensed activity to the north of the oh. continent. But the trail went cold near Zulaman. Interesting. Not what I thought. I mean, it, Twilight Highlands is close... It's the Ghostlands, but not that close. That does bring it closer to Silver Moon, though. Oh, look, you're so voidy, I couldn't even see you hanging out by the void pool. Four. I can grab this Rift one. Riftwalker and Ilara has yet to return from Northrend. Troubling. Mm. Northrend, huh? I'm just gonna pull this over here. Don't mind me. She was sparkling just a few seconds ago. All paths are possible. The Rendori shall prove our worth. Riftwalker reports. Thank you for gathering reports. Unfortunately, the Riftwalker from Northrend has yet to return. She was investigating void activity in Galakron's rest. Given that location's connection to the Dark Heart, I'd suggest you search for her. Let's hope our Riftwalker is still around to give you her report. Shadows watch over you. Cracks in the void. Excellent work. Those unstable void rifts threaten more than just our reality. Left unchecked, they would spread rampantly like little cosmic prions. Prions? Okay. No, prions or prions? Anyway, whatever. No, <laughs> no reality. No possibility. No truth that could possibly be worth. Would that could possibly? Let's try that again. If left unchecked, they would be they would spread rampantly like little cosmic prions. Gonna consist stick with prions for now. No really. No reality, no possibility, no truth that could possibly be that would poss that could possibly be would be say okay, it is a typo. <laughs> that could possibly be safe I would be safe from them. Um, which is all to say you did us quite the favor by closing them. Do not oh. bend to the whispers. Galakron's unrest. Galakron's rest. When the dark hard heart was first empowered by Riddikron, we don't know what power the relic holds, but we do know that the Harbinger now- we knew, do know the Harbinger now wields it. And now, one of our Riftwalkers is missing, right where it all began. I don't believe this is a coincidence, Arleia. Let's travel to Northrend and search the area. Meet Illyria at Galakron's Rest and Dragon Blight. Hmm. The Riftwalker's absence. Could it be connected to the Dark Heart? Okay. Hi. That's Galakron, all right. Greetings. What are the Dark Heart's origins? I'm gonna pretend I didn't know. Um, we know much about the Dark Heart. We know we know much about how the Dark Heart was created, but not much about what it actually is. What are the Dark Heart's origins? 
I mean, it's it gives you the option to play the scene again, but I want to read this. Dragon Blight is the grave of Galakron, primal dragon who threatened to devour the world. He was defeated by the dragon aspects before they had even been granted their powers by the titans. This is a millennia ago, of course. This was millennia, of course. No, of course. Eridicron saw use in Galakron's power. He allied himself with the infinite dragon flight and traveled to a point in time right after the primal right after the primal dragon had been slain. It was then that Eridicron imbued a relic with that primal power using Galakron's still bleeding corpse and so the dark heart was created. We know the dark heart's origins and we know the fact that it is now in the hands of the harbinger. Now we just need to figure out what power it possesses and what the harbinger plans to do with it. I don't need to I don't need to see that scene again. <laughs> um Galakron's unrest. Keep your gaze fixed on your Time target. to find our Riftwalker and if we're lucky, discover a clue about the dark heart and the, and the heart this harbinger who wields it. Aim true. Walk a mile in her shadows. The shadows can be an ally if controlled. I do I don't often work with the Riftwalkers. I prefer to handle missions alone. Still, I will not abandon one of them. I cannot yet sense the Riftwalkers' presence. Our best path forward is to retrace her steps, which means following the shadows. Uncover the void presence at Galakron's rest in Dragonblight. Sure. Farewell. This is where Eridicron empowered the Dark Heart. Oh yes, this is where he is standing. That was up millennia here. ago. He's standing Why up would here. there be void activity here? Why now? I may have screwed something up in the past. I was like, are these enemies still here? <laughs> yep. This is rather funny. Void flare. It is a good day for a hunt. Why are we just checking to Aim see true. Answer? Tracks. They might belong to our Riftwalker. Let's follow them. Galakrond was consumed by a never-ending hunger, and that same hunger was used to empower the Dark Heart. The Riftwalkers reported fluctuations in void energy, followed by a period of calm. the dark heart be absorbing magical power and converting it to shadow these tracks lead north wait i sense something is it Ulduwa? I'll scout ahead. Meet me there. Oh, huh. Ulduwa. Sure it's fine. Sure. Sure it's fine. And do I have it? Yes, I have my puzzle box of Yog saron on. Just wanted to check. I have it readily available. 
Not that I think it's in any way related. Oh look, a Dalaran. <laughs> look, there's a Dalaran. Please ignore the Dalaran on your left. Well, we're on the right track. The Harbinger shall usher in a new- the shadows have taken her. Defend yourself. Greetings. This don't look good. We now know why the Riftwalker didn't come report back. She's turned against us, and so it's only the Void now. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Harbinger had a hand in this. Keep your gaze fixed on your target. The Lara has looked up to the Windrunner sisters her entire Shadows life. Shadows have taken her. Defend yourself! It's honor of a lifetime to be able to work alongside Illyria. Oh well. Dark Dissension. What are these Void Spawn doing here? Could it be the Harbingers doing? Some power of the Dark Heart? Well, I don't mean to stand idly by. We must confront the Riftwalker. I don't think she'll see reason now. Perhaps she can tell us something. Confront the missing Riftwalker. We do so. You finally arrived. My honored guests. That voice. I'm so doing this on my priest tomorrow. What new shadows have taken her? Defend yourself! The shadows can be an ally, if controlled. Shadows have taken her. Defend yourself! Well, I am defending myself until we can't have it. Seek my dark heart. Very well. Come and take it. We each walk a line. Choose yours. It's my charge to teach the Renderai to withstand the voice whispers. If only I had gotten to the Rift Walker before the Harbinger did. Nalara. Her name was Nalara, wasn't it? Oof. We do what we must for those Legacy we love. The Lord. Make no mistake, Arleia. I know this is a trap. But if there's any chance this leads, leads us to the Harbinger, we must take that risk. Be at the ready. We venture forth. Travel to the Triad's Conservatory in Eridoth. Aim yeah. true. It looks different. This void portal looks different. Oh, okay, we're going here. I was like, where is that again? This is... Eridath. Use every weapon at your disposal. Legacy of the Void, Eridath. I never thought I would return you here. Not, do this alone. not after the Legion was finally defeated. Not after. Why would the Harbinger bring us here? Farewell. Path taken. These apparitions before us, I believe they're memories. My memories. What's the Harbinger's doing? Mine. We need to explore, discover why we are led here. Witness Hilaria's memories in Eridath. Keep your eyes. Show me these memories. What is the Harbinger's plan?
Lirath. That's their brother. Illyria. Sylvanas. Mother. Father. They don't get names. Lirath. And Varius, of course. Rejecting the role of Ranger General was not an easy choice. For me, or my family. Yet leaving them behind, I failed to protect them. Or at least, to die with them. Because this is Legion, Vanessa Van Cleef is still following me. <laughs> just, just so you know. <laughs> oh no. I can't tell her to leave. So, she'll be doing fiddly damage. Alright, where am I going next? Assassins are level 70. Those are not. At least I don't think so. Assets just hanging around. Oh, I know that statue. Zero. This is the last time I saw my son as a boy. My Arator. I was so thankful for that day. Zira helped me to reach out to him. Yet the Light's power wasn't enough to defeat the Legion. Get it. The enemies are memories too. Embracing the void. I don't regret that choice. I left my world, my son, to protect them. And leaving the army of the light was just the same. It is a good day for a hunt. The shadows can be an ally, if controlled. We're finding the Harbinger and leaving this place now. Farewell. Suddenly, this all feels rather personal. The Harbinger must have a grievance against me, or at least an interest. Hmm. It'd be one traveler long I stood. Keep your gaze fixed on the. I sense target. another memory ahead. Well, I'm loath to play along with the Harbinger's game. It's the only path forward for us, still. 
You face just as many dangerous memories as peaceful ones. Prepare yourself. Investigate the final memory of the Triarch Observatory in Eridan. We do what we This is a hunt, and our prey awaits with hungry jaws. So people going this way. Hey, it's 1 a.m. That's not where people went. Love that there are world quests up. For Legion. I did have to come back here and farm stuff. Good stuff. I would rather have died than have you fall to evil. I know. And yet my fate has not changed. Oh, your greatest regret. Let's bring it to life, shall we? No! This isn't what happened! You have forsworn the light, Illyria. And so, you are my enemy. We must follow him! What news? The Harbinger dares to use my people, my memories, my love against me? Then she will know what it means to be my enemy. Aim true. Defend Telgris Rift. Okay. No. Not the Renderine. Not Telgris Rift. Not today. Lyra tightens her grip on her bow. These ethereal forces are the same we encountered in Ulduar. The Harbinger must command them. I'll go ahead. Engage the enemies here. Defund Telgris Rift? Okay, here we go. Farewell. These invaders will find no mercy in my domain.
that there are named characters to kill. The void is filled with many whispers, and hers is the loudest of them all. I've got name things to kill. Sad. Our true quarry is ahead. That twisted vision of Terrellian. It is a good day for a hunt. The shadows can be an ally if controlled. Memory of Terrellian, a manifestation of Valyria's worst nightmare conjured by the Harbinger. We must defeat that loathsome apparition of Terrellian. The Abomination's presence is intolerable. Left unchecked, it may destroy what remains of Telvis Rift. I will end it with my own hands. Defeat the corrupted memory of Terrellian and Telvis Rift. Keep your gaze fixed on your target. Is this we have to wait in an orderly queue to do the finale? <laughs> Please wait in an orderly queue to kill boss. Boss in cabin. Over your family? How pitiful. Do not speak with his voice, abomination. End me, Illyria. Has the Void not given you the strength? I can't do it. Illyria, I see your weak heart. You cling to them still. Be gone from this place, Zalatath! Very well. I'll not overstay my welcome. Mm, well, now that all makes sense. Try not to waste my time. I have much to discuss with you both about Zalatath, now named Harbinger, and this radiant song heard all across Azeroth. Do go on. Null and void. There was once a time when I wouldn't have hesitated. When I would have struck that apparition when I would yeah, when I would have struck that apparition down with a clear heart, even if it wore the face of my beloved. But something changed. I changed. Go. Speak with Locust Walker. It seems he knows more than we do. The following will be cast on you. But with a ranging captain. Okay, cool. And a small boy touched weaponry. Alright. Aim true. Will the void swallow you? Ah, there it is. She goes by Harbinger now, doesn't she? How fitting. I no longer feel her presence. Make no mistake, Zalatath's nefarious games continue. And Alaria is now a pawn upon her board, as are you, Champion of Fate. Deliver Loka Locust Walker's warnings to Kadgar and Dalaran. <laughs> Why <Embrace> me? <laughs> Lest it consume. Oh, play scene. Okay. Fascinating. Simply fascinating. So it is Zalatath who has claimed the Dark Heart. I understand now why she calls herself the Harbinger. I've had enough riddles for one day. 
The radiant visions you spoke of are the very same my people had. Before our world was consumed by the Void Lord Dementius. What? You don't think... Could Zalatath be seeking that same fate for Azeroth? I fear that is precisely what she intends. You must find a way to stop her. Me? Look, she knew exactly how to hurt me. I don't think I'm the one to... Yes, she knew your greatest fear is endangering your family. But you must let go of that fear. Embrace who you truly are. I know who I am. Do you? You are unbalanced. You must master your unique nature, Aleria. If you cannot, then Azeroth is already doomed. It's best if I leave. I'm a danger to you all, so long as Zalatath's gaze is cast upon me. Tell Khadgar what we learned. I will return to Dalaran in time. I'm not saying I was running around Dementius. If there'd be a callback for a reason that might come into play. I wasn't expecting hearing it about I wasn't expecting to hear it tonight. Um Hey, Lucas Walker. Dive deep into the shadows. Tell me your warning once more, Volcan. I won't play it again, but you have the option. May you keep your sanity. Go. Go tell, um. Kedgar. Hi, Kedgar. I got some bad news. Still no word from Magni? No. The Speaker of Azeroth remains strangely silent. Ah. Uh, well. Hey, Jaina. How you doing? A long road lies before us. Control your power, or it will control you. Magni's being pleased. He's even invokes his cold shoulder. Hey, Kaka. We will defend Azeroth together. The Dark Heart and Arke. Radiant warnings. Be mindful of your duty. How oh, just She's already attacked Hilker's Rift? This is most serious. I'm afraid we have no more time for investigations. Locus Walker is right. The answer will lie within the Radiant Song. We must discover what it means. Remain vigilant. Zalateth has returned as the Harbinger. And now she has the power of the Dark Heart at her disposal. It's all connected to the Radiant Song. It has to be. Lucas Walker said the Ethereals heard a similar song before Koresh was destroyed. Then is Azeroth herself the one in danger? Is she speaking to us? We need answers. We need her speaker. I will seek out Magni. But first, I must inform Thrall of what we learned here. We must face this crisis together. Horde and Alliance both. What would you ask the daughter of the sea? Speaking to Jaina. It seems your investigation bore more fruit than mine did. I've been questioning those who claim to see the radiant vision, trying to understand what it could all mean. But there seems to be no connection between those who were seeing it 
no connection between those who were seeing it. Nor did anyone understand what it meant. Could Locust Walker be right? Is it a warning from Azeroth, from the, from the Azeroth herself? We need the world's old speaker. I must speak with Magni. Be careful who you trust. I was hoping to see you. Okay. Jane and I have much to discuss about your investigation. You are free to join us if you wish. Can you tell me more about Zalatath and her role as Harfinger? Okay, so. We now know that the Harbinger is Zalatath, a being of void. Her spirit was once trapped in a dagger, <laughs> but she was recently released onto Azeroth. Ah, it seems to seems she means to make the most of her freedom. No, I know that because it's I did that. Zalatath has allied herself with. I did that too. I helped release her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Zelatath has allied herself with the Riddikon and gained a powerful relic, the Dark Heart. There's now a strong evidence that she is using this relic, but we know not to what ends. She has also gained a force of Void Spawn. She used this force to attack Telegros Rift, which you and Ilaria luckily defended against. However, we still do not know exactly what the Dark Heart is capable of, and now, what we know of the Radiant Song, I fear for the worst. Locust Walker gave us a warning about the Radiant Song. Locust Walker claims his pe people, the Ethereals, once had a vision similar to the Radiant Song that many across Azeroth are currently witnessing. However, this vision came shortly before their world was destroyed by the Void Lord Dementius. Does this mean the Radiant Song is a warning of imminent destruction? Perhaps a warning from the very world soul of Azeroth? And I cannot help but fear it has something to do with Zalatath and her dark heart. We need the wisdom of Azeroth's speaker, but Magni has yet to answer our calls. Jaina has, has, Jaina has agreed? Jaina has agreed to seek him out. When she has spoken with Thrall, I wouldn't be surprised if you eventually requested your help on the matter, and neither would I. Locust Walker claims that his people are ethereals, once had a vision similar to the Radiant Song that many across Azeroth are currently witnessing. However, this vision came shortly before the world was destroyed by the Void Lord Dementius, so we are calling back the stuff we found out in um, Burning Crusade. When we first encountered the, uh, the ethereals. Does this mean the Radiant Song is a warning of imminent destruction? Perhaps a warning from the very world sort of Azeroth? And I cannot help but fear that it has something to do with Zalatath and her dark heart. We need the wisdom of Azeroth's speaker, but Magni has yet to answer our calls. Jaina has agreed to seek him out once he has spoken with Thrall. To seek him out once he has spoken with Thrall. I wouldn't be surprised if she eventually requested your help on the matter, Arlika. I'm expecting it. Tell me something else. Um, stay a while and listen. Zalatath has returned as the Harbinger. I know she has the power of the Dark Heart at her disposal. It's all connected to the Radiant Song. It has to be. Locus Walker said the Ethereals heard a similar song before Koresh was destroyed. Then is... Azeroth herself, the one in danger? Is she speaking to us? We need answers. We need her speaker. I will seek out Magni. But first, I must inform Thrall of what we learned here. We must face this crisis together. Horde and Alliance both. Okay, so it was the same thing as before. The way forward it's will fine. not be So that is that uh, part of it, it looks like. Um, that looks to be the end of it.